Hi, I'm Carl, and welcome to LARP Legion. So, it's been a while, but we have another LARP Legion opening of a LARP box. Uh, this is the second time that Viking comes around for the LARP box team. I had ordered the Viking box in the past, and it was actually my favorite box. Well, not my favorite box, but definitely one of my top three if I would beat um, this side. The thing is, I don't know what's going to be in this one. I hope it's not the same stuff. I'm pretty certain it won't be. Sorry, something moved it. I think it's a ghost. A ghost. But, um, yeah. So, let's see what's in here. I am really excited to see. So, let's see. Kraken. First of all, we have a paper, but who reads? We've told this on the channel before. We don't read. We don't know how to. Okay. What is this? It's a fancy little box. It looks like a, like a tiny cardboard burrito. Very Viking. Everyone knows that Viking were known for their burritos. Oh jeez, there's a spike, I think. Oh! So, I completely... F I need the name of these because I always forget. It's a... Mm, 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 a cloak pin, but that's not the name for them. They have an actual name. So this is, if you have a coat that's pretty much just a piece of fabric, you can use that to close it together by pinning it uh, to itself. So this is real cool. It's made of metal. It has a really nice um, engraving to it. Very cool thing to have. Nice little accessory to add to a kit. Next up, we have... Ooh! Okay! So it's made by Artisan d'Azur. And it is a um, belt hoop for weapons, I would be to guess. And it has the really nice... Uh, I mean, everyone knows the symbol. But, I mean, it's really nice that they went with the classic uh, for it. I don't know how you would be to open this and... Okay, I see, I see. So you would be to pull this and then you'd be able to tie something on it that is a really cool thing to have really nice accessories so two two and two for accessories right now that are really useful next up i see a big bag but i don't know if i i think the big bag is the next thing oh no wait okay so we have another product by atzan azura which is a um little leather carved laser carved, they have a really cool laser carving machine at their store, I've seen it. And this would be the, do, 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 do. the tank, no, accessory, no. It doesn't matter, I don't know how to read, I told you. Okay, I'm too excited for this bag. So first of all, this has it on it, which seems to be spray painted, but like really well done, where it looks like, I, I really like the look of it. It's a really cool thing. But inside, we have the most dangerous Viking weapon, bubble wrap. No, it's another really, very dangerous Viking item. Yeah, I'm able to pull it out of here. Jeez, Bart, you really went crazy with this. This is to, pr to practice pillaging. So we have, move this out, move this, ah! A awesome, awesome mug, Orn mug, with uh, the lines carved in it. That is a really cool detail. This has a lot of look to it. I love this, honestly. Uh, you can never have too many Orns. I have one like this. And what I like about these is that they can be put down because um, as cool as the actual like horns look, the drinking horns, they're really, really unuseful because you, you're like, you want to put it down and it falls. Whereas this, it has a nice uh, bottom to it. Uh, it's a really big one too. Like you can fit a good amount of um, liquid juice in it. A lot of juice can fit in this. So uh, that was, it so let me do a little recap of the items that are in it 
first up, we had the Artisan Azur Elm of Awe Pendant, which is this cute little pendant here. Then we had uh, Odin's Orn Bag. So, I'm guessing this is it. It says that it's like to store the tankard, but it's a really big bag to store tankards. So I, I don't know about that. It could be used for other things. It's all the tankard. I feel like it's a bit of an overkill. Uh, then we have the cloak, the cloak pin, which it doesn't say who made it. So maybe B3 Imagination Studio or LARP Box. Uh, then in the LARP Box premiere, what you had was the um, the Atzanazur accessory and tankard holder. So I was, oh okay, so I guess you could oh uh, yeah you could slide this in and it would hold it to your belt. So that is a really cool thing to have. I'm pretty sure I will have this to my belt. Although having the symbol on it. I don't know if it's gonna fit with my character. But hey, Barbarian, Grog, it fits. Uh, then you had the Orn Tankard, and then the Legendary Lark Box. <sighs> okay, you had Atzanazura Viking Fur Bracers. So uh, I think I know which one they are. Try to put a picture if I can find them on the website, or else go see if they have a really cool website. Then it was Atelier Nemesis Viking. Uh, Seeks, which is uh, probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's a multi purpose knife for cl close combat or utility. So, anyone that knows their stuff knows that their weapons are completely amazing looking. And then you had a sheet for that weapon, and you had an epic armory tunic. So, all around, some really, really cool accessories in this box that will look really cool with. A bunch of different kits I think that's uh, what's really nice about this kit is that it's not too unique where it would only fit one type of character like a horn can go with so many characters the belt hoop same thing it's just always useful to have the cloak pin it's just a metal cloak pin so it's like it literally like so many characters can wear this it's really cool to have so I would say that uh, the Lark box Viking part 2 I guess uh, definitely did a lot of things right yet again and I'm excited to see what's next because right now their current team for LARP box is chaos so if you're looking to play an evildoer character or just be chaotic all around make sure to check that out so I think that was it for this opening thank you for watching make sure to look at any other LARP Legion videos and subscribe to join the Legion